course. There are two Dave Batista comedies supposedly supposed to be coming out within about a month of each other. We, have, of course, have Stuber that's opening tonight in theaters everywhere. I'm going to go see it tonight. I'm going to see that and Crawl tonight. I'm going to go do a double feature. Anyway, we'll talk about those movies tomorrow. But then next month, he's supposed to have this other comedy called I Spy or My Spy. That's what it is. My Spy. Dave Batista, Little Girl, kind of got that Dwayne Johnson movie or Vin Diesel, that Vin Diesel movie the vibe, whatever. But that's supposed to come out next month. Well, apparently, not so much. Because it was just announced this morning that Dave Batista's comedy My Spy has been pushed out to twenty to an undisclosed date in 2020. Now, it is not the most unusual thing in the world for a movie to change release dates. It happens. What is a little bit unusual is when you get a movie changing release dates this close to when it's supposed to be coming out. And it's not a week or two, it's some undisclosed date in 2020. Now, there are a couple of theories as to why this possibly could be happening. Number one, maybe the studio thought better and thought, you know, maybe we shouldn't release two Dave Batista movies back to back so close to each other. That's a possibility, and I'm seeing some people online saying that already. However, they've known for a year that they had this other Dave Batista movie opening up so close to it. Why wait till like a month before the release date of this thing to suddenly push it? That's something. I want to propose something else. And what I'm going to propose is not the best. Stuber's coming out. And despite the fact that I've heard really good things about it, the fact of the matter is that right now, Stuber, now that the official reviews are out, Stuber is only holding a 42% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is way lower than I thought it would be. Now, Grant, I haven't seen it yet, but I know a number of people who have seen advanced screenings around the country, and they all said they really liked it. And now we're seeing some not so... I mean, look, 42% isn't the worst thing in the world. That's getting close to half the critics liking it. However, I cannot help but be a little bit suspicious that 24 hours after the official reviews for the one Dave Batista movie comes out, that all of a sudden now we're getting an announcement. Now, I don't want to put on a tinfoil hat and pretend, Aaron, that this is some big grand conspiracy, like it may be something else entirely, but I can't help it as a fan, just looking at it from the outside, be a little bit suspicious about this. And I think this raises some red flags. Changing movie dates is not always raising red flags, but this close to it, just when this other movie of his is coming out, I, I don't know. It's not a good look. Am I overreacting to that? What's the first thing that crosses your mind when you see this situation? You know, I'm in, I'm in a really good mood today, so I'm just going to be the <laughs> eternal optimist. I'm sorry. It's going to be super annoying. But I also think it's really interesting that this big news just happens to be coming out the day that Stuber is opening. Right. So any buzz is good buzz. Like, I, I go back to, um, you know, the eye patch being on the wrong eye, whatever. We're talking about De Batista. We're talking about Stuber. And so, and I'm now even more interested. I want to go see Stuber. I have really high hopes for it. I real I love Dave Batista. I think he's such a wonderful uh, part of Guardians of the Galaxy for the parts that he is involved in. I find him really refreshing. And so I'm just going to be a little more positive on this and say this is actually something that maybe was quietly in the works all the time. And now they're causing some buzz, creating some drama, all so that we can go see Stuber and then go, what do you mean? Dave Batista's awesome. We want this in January 2020. <laughs> Bring on more Dave Batista. That's what I'm going with. Chris, you hear about this. Is it uh, like, it, are you more optimistic like Aaron? Are you a little bit more pessimistic like me? Where do you fall on this? Oh, I'm so cynical. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a coffee and I'm drinking a green juice and I hate everything. <laughs> but, you know, I really think my first thought when it said that there was a pushback was, oh, Stuber must be terrible. Oh, no. Which I'm still going to see because I love Dave Bautista and I love Kamal. I really, really want to go see this film. But my immediate reaction was, oh, yeah, the studio doesn't want to lose any more money. Money. They're going to give us some distance between these two films. Well, guys, the big question is, you're hearing about this. Are you more on the optimistic side? Are you more on the pessimistic side? Do you Are you a little bit more of a conspiracy theorist or maybe something more practical is at play here? Or maybe you got a completely different theory about this. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.